why would a company have a pre-sales enablement different than a sales enablement? Right. Well, because the needs are different, right? The needs are different, as I said earlier, that the again, depending on the size of the company and depending on what they do and what they're selling, complexity and all those kind of things, we'd assume that the that the that the sales reps are going to have a particular uh, um roadmap that's going to take them down how to use our tools, how to get the build your pipeline and and, and maybe some product knowledge in there as well, as well as the, the, the softer skills about presenting and audience management and that kind of stuff. But from a sales engineer's perspective, um, then it's that and more. Right. Because not only are we expecting our sales reps, uh, our, our SEs to know the product, that's a given, right? That's a given that they should know that stuff. Albeit to varying levels of, of expertise, expertise, but that, that, that's a given. It's the stuff around that that they need to accommodate to position their product in, in the best possible light by passing that so what test. So how, how do I do a discovery? What should I do in discovery that's not only going to allow me to understand what I believe, which is wrong, what I believe their features, the feature that they need to solve a particular problem? Yeah. So we should put that to one side and think about, right, what, what are the customer's problems? What are their challenges? And if they say that they need X products, we should be saying, well, why? What's the, what's the driving force behind this? What's the impact for the business? What happens if you don't do this? What are the benefits you might you get if you do do this? So we're getting that bigger sort of almost consulting approach rather than just focusing on the, the feature and the functions. So it's training. So it's, it's, that's that's over and above what, again, depending on the size of the company, what a lot of sales reps would. Some sales reps may do that, but the focus, if it's if it's that, if it's a right environment, if it's a right size company, then sales reps need to be trained how to do that, to get that good discovery. Because only then, only then can they then come away and start to build that good value-driven solution presentation. And then you're into, well, how do I create the best environment for that? How do I how do I deliver it? How do I handle those tricky questions? You know, how do I do my research? Where should I go to find out who else does this stuff? What are the customers might we have that's in that particular area as well? Um, so you, there's, there's lots of, you know, softer skills around it. There's lots of areas where we're looking at what other tools can we use, like competitive intelligence, uh, the research, even even going on to say, well, you know, th this might be a new role to you right now in terms of demoing in front of a customer. But in terms of preparation, what have you done before? Have you worked with a sales rep before? Have you worked with a greater team, perhaps from a greater sales team perspective? So how do we coordinate? How do we really get the best out of that environment to make sure that we're all singing from the same, same hymn sheet and delivering a really good, solid picture of our product and services um you know so i think i think it, it's it's more on the technical side but it's beyond the technical side and it's all about the delivery value do i understand value what it means to the customer and do i understand how, posi how to position this do i understand if the customer is really understanding what i'm saying the zoom world again is very different right yeah. most of the most of our students we we train they're in a tough situation because most of their clients, the audience members, are off camera. Yeah, I can look at you now. I can think, well, it looks like Ramsey's is paying a bit of attention here. So that's that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. But you're off camera. I've got no clue. So what do we do in that situation? What skills can we can we provide? For what training can we give them to help them to manage that that really tricky situation? A lot of the new you know sales engineers that we're, we're taking on right now have never been in front of an audience, you know, a live yeah. audience. That's yeah. a, that's a hell of a you know challenge, real different because we've got we've had that experience. We know the problems in that environment, so we're carrying a lot of stuff forward now to this environment. And it's uh, you know so so you saw the enablement for this SEs is much much bigger, much much more broader than than, and that's not you know, degrading the sales reps' importance and what they do and the and the and the different pressures that they have, which are very different. Yeah. Because it's very much, you know, the career is depending on the next deal, perhaps, you know, so it's a very different pressure. Yeah. But in terms yeah. of the SE, there's a very different, um, very different approach. Yeah, I don't mind undermining salespeople. It's, it's what sales <laughs> engineers do for them. Well, some of my I, friends I might like listen to the 
Sorry? <laughs> Some of my friends might be listening to this afterwards, so I've got to, well, I've got to be careful. If it's any consolation, I'm currently in a sales role. So okay. Okay. <laughs> I make fun of myself. Um, I, so this is the biggest mistake I see SEs do. You mentioned that uh, if someone says, I want this product, the next question is should be why. Yeah. Where I see most SEs the here, I want this product, and yeah. they just start dumping information about the product yeah. and not knowing yeah. Yeah. like which part of this product is interesting. Yeah. Why are they interested in this product? Why did they yeah. even agree to meet with us? And a lot of times now that I'm in the sales role and I'm on calls with SEs, I, I as a salesperson have to bring them back because like why are we like why are we down that road? We need to because a lot of times it does, it's not that product that they're asking. Uh, they just thought it's the solution because of what they saw online, but it's mm -hmm. not actually the solution. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that is very, very true indeed. Because yeah. again, you know, going back to my pre-sale days, for me, that was a, a buying sign, right? Yeah. Can you come in and show us ERP? You know, oh, I've got great, brilliant. Okay, yeah. I'm going to rock up there. How long can I spend with you? Oh, just like, oh, only an hour. Okay. You yeah. know, but it was just literally the chance to, I guess show off is not the right phrase because you are you have the right intent, of course, just just often the wrong outcome in terms of um, you know what happened after that meeting. So yeah, yeah, you're right. It's all sort of about why. why. Why do you need this? What, what's driving it? What's the what's the cause and effect yeah. of this, uh, this approach? Yeah. And what drives me nuts is if I call a cost uh, NSE up, say like, hey, can you demo this product for me? And the response is sure. Like, yeah, yeah. But you, you, wait, you're not going to ask me yeah. any more information? Like, I want to give you information. You, you don't care. Yeah, so yeah. maybe I'm on the wrong path because, you know, I'm in yeah. sales. And, and, and you know, that, that, that's, that, that's not so bad on their part because that's what they think they're paid to do. And, and whose fault is the enablement team that perhaps hasn't directed them in the right area, given the right... Yeah, the right I mean, we don't have it anymore. Right, right. We, we don't have an enablement team and... Uh, Depending on the company, sometimes SEs report to salespeople or sales directors, at which point they're used as a free resource versus a partner. Absolutely. And so if a if so, if a salesperson says, "Can you demo this?" and the response is "Why?" it's like, yeah. "What do you do? Just demo this, or I'll talk to our boss."